guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, I think the 8th. <laughs> uh, I believe it's the 8th. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, yeah, come on, nerves. I don't know what I just did to make that move. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I wanted to hop on here today and just show you guys some things that I've been working on. I haven't had time to make a video in the last couple days. So I wanted to uh, come on here and let you guys know that I'm okay. <laughs> I didn't like go crazy or something. My hair is looking pretty rough though. It is humid like crazy here. So, um, I mean my hair is always frizzy, but like lately it's been really bad. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to show you some things I was working on. So, um, first I made a Christmas ornament. It's not 100% done. I still got to stitch the eye on there. And I'm not going to crochet a hanger on it because I'm going to use like a little hooky thing. Uh, and this is by Sarah Satch. She just put this out the other day. Um, a video of it and a written pattern. Um, so, and it's just a cardinal. I made it the double one. You can make it single or double. I made it double just so it's thicker. So I do need to stitch a little eye on there. Mine looks a little wonky compared to hers. I think I did this a little too far down. I think it's supposed to be a little higher, like one or two stitches higher. But I still think it's cute. I love cardinals and as soon as I saw that I knew I had to make it. So I'll link this down below if you want to check it out. Um, there's a video tutorial and a written, so you can do either. Uh, and then I just use scraps. It's Red Heart Cherry Red, Black, and this is a gold color that I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Red Heart, but I can't remember what the color is called. But it's really simple. I whipped it up really fast. Um, Thursday, I think, maybe? Thursday or Friday. I can't remember. <laughs> and then another thing that I've been working on is I've been saving my scrap, um, fabrics. When I cut my bags, I save my fabrics in, like, different sections, kind of like, um, Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing. She has like a whole bunch of different degrees of scraps. If you ever watch her, she has like all kinds of different ones that she does different things with. And uh, so I kind of do that too. So I, I use my big pieces for bags and then I use my slightly smaller pieces for the small bags I make every now and then, which I'm going to be working on some here soon. Um, just to use them up. And then I have, I've been saving my like, you know, any of the weird shaped, still biggish size pieces, a few inches big. Uh, I'm going to try to make like patchworky type bags once I collect enough of them. Um, and then I've also been saving my salvage ends, which is like where the, the copyright information for the fabric is. Or uh, one end has like copyright information. The other end usually has like holes. I'm not sure what the holes are for, but they're like little holes up the side of the bag or the fabric. Uh, I've been saving those to make fabric yarn. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that and that's, that's what you're hearing. I'm using a very fancy Walmart bag. <laughs> I think it's so funny. I make bags, but I don't usually keep bags um, to keep them in. So this is just what it is. It's all like just the end pieces of fabrics and stuff that I'm saving to make fabric yarn. So you like see right there's a print that I used the other day. This is the part where I was talking about where there's like holes in it. You see those holes? <laughs> so uh, yeah, but I've just been, what you do is you cut a hole in one end of the fabric. I'll do it real quick to show you because my scissors are in here too. <laughs> so you just take the fabric and I just kind of fold it over and then cut a hole in it like that. And then you take another piece of fabric, another strip, and you stick it through that hole, pull it through just a little bit, and then you cut a hole in that piece. And then you take the end of the other end of that same fabric and you loop it through that hole and then you pull it through, there's fibers everywhere, and then it kind of knots right there. And now it's attached. And then I like, I add a piece and then I wrap it around the ball. So let me wrap that up. So there's that one. And then I'll just keep doing that until this whole bag is done. And I'm thinking what I want to make with it, what I want to try to make with it is reusable shopping bags because they'll be washable, but they're, they're going to be kind of heavy. So I thought I could use kind of like a because it's thick, you know, it's fabric, it'll be thick and dense. I wanted to try to make maybe like a mesh stitch, but like a small mesh so that stuff's not falling out. Um, and if I can't get the bag to work, because I want to make bags for myself, uh, reusable grocery shopping bags, um, a rug, I guess, because that's usually what people make with these is like rugs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've been saving all my little pieces like that. I got a whole bag of them here. And I keep this under my sewing table, and every time I cut them off, these like these salvagings, with like the colors and the copyright information all that, I just um, need it in this bag. And I have another box under my table that I put the random you know, pieces that I'm gonna try to piece together later to make like patchworky looking stuff <laughs> with um, just under my table and I just need them in there. And then anything smaller than that, I've been throwing away 
um because i don't know what to do with them but i mean it's like tiny stuff but yeah if you hear that noise devin's making salsa <laughs> so i'm moving his bag so that's the two things i've been working on making that fabric yarn and i worked on that i worked a tiny bit on my halloween thing but not enough to show i want to work more on that but it's just hard to squeeze it in with the baby but I just made this bag a few minutes ago. I literally just was making it. Um, it's like a prototype, I guess. It's a bag. I wanted to make a drawstring bag that has a handle on it. And um, I made this one. <laughs> but I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'll have to ask, I'll ask you guys his opinion. This is just with some scrap fabric. So it's kind of a random shape. But here's the drawstring bag. Strawberries. It's got a box bottom. A pretty big one I made. I think it's a... Let's see here. It's two and a half, two and a half. So that's what? A five inch? It's a five inch uh box bottom <laughs> and i did leave the longer drawstrings on there because i've had a few people mention that so i'm gonna try to remember to start doing that with all my drawstring bags leaving longer strings for people to grab hold of i'm not sure if, should i put the knot up here or should it be down here because some people put them up here and some people put them down here so i don't know <laughs> but um anyways i got i put two handles on it it's got green on the inside but when you cinch it the handles kind of get close together they're still functional. They're just really close together. So I don't know how I feel with that. Is it alright? I mean, like, it's still a handle. You can still carry it or hang it by the handles. And then I also thought maybe I could try. I might make another one. And instead of having the handles on the side, I do one handle and have it going from this side to this side because it would be looped over. So when you have the bag open, it could just be flopped to one side or the other for you to, you know, do whatever you're doing. And then when you cinch it the one handle would be going up this way but i don't know i mean i kind of like it this way it's just i feel like the handles right there is really close together but i mean it's still a handle so what do you guys think again this is like <laughs> it's kind of tall i should have brought something in here to put in in it there's stuffed animal that i can stuff in here i don't know if this will fit try to squish it in there. there's a crocheted dinosaur made jesse To give it a shape. <laughs> to give it some sort of shape. Okay. There it is with a stuffed animal. <laughs> I, I put it in there weird. I put it big side up. I should have put it big side bottom. Let's try that again. It's this big thing. <laughs> this is a Michelle Strata pattern. I think it's called Bronchosaurus. I hear a lot flat. Okay, that looks better. So now it's big side <laughs> top, see? I like the bag. It's a pretty good bag. But what do you guys think? Let me know. I'm not sure how I feel with the handles, but, you know, it's still functional. You can still carry it that way. You can still hang it up. And, I don't know, it would, it would look weird with just one handle, too, though. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I guess I'll probably still put this in my shop. It doesn't have a label on it. I ran out of labels. I ordered some yesterday. Today? Yesterday. One of these days. So I gotta, I, you know, they'll, they'll probably come next week. Because she's pretty fast at um, shipping them out. But, yeah. So, I'll, I might put this in the shop. I might wait until I get labels. And then I'll just pull out some of the stitches and put a label in there. I don't know. I may not. Because that's a lot of process. Because <laughs> in order to do that, I'd have to, to pull out the inside stitch. Turn the bag. Put it in there. I don't know if it's worth all the hassle. <laughs> But uh, anyways, that's it. If enough people express interest, I might start putting these in the shop. Uh, and there might be varying sizes, depending on my scraps that I have at the time. But I kind of like it with the handles. It looks, you know, it adds something else to it. And I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so I do have, I, today I was uh, getting batting ready, ready for some. That was a lot of noise. Uh, so there's, there's going to be some littler drawstring bags and some zipper um project bags and some of them are going to be like notion pouch size and i think there's actually a few regular size notion pouches i'm just trying to use up scrap stuff like i always do i always try to use up as much of my scrap stuff that i can it before i purchase more fabric um because i want to start doing like fall prints and stuff soon <laughs> but anyways that was just my little i just want to hop on here and um uh, you know she almost did her. I know I only missed two days, but I usually, I try to put out a video every day. So, um, I usually start getting emails after two or three days of me not popping up. So, I just wanted to hop on here and share what I have been doing. Uh, I really hope to get some more crochet in, but I don't know. 
and I'm gonna be doing sewing randomly throughout this next week probably what is this week it's like the teens right yeah because the 10th is on Monday what is the 10th so I'll probably just randomly sew throughout this week and maybe try to get some more littler bags some of these like smaller bags up eventually <laughs> and then after that the next um, shop update will be quilted either totes or zipper bags I don't know one of the two <laughs> I already have fabric laying in there for that update I just need to figure out what kind of bags I want to make but uh, yeah. so I'm just gonna hop off here and go see if Devin needs help because uh, June was fussing a minute ago and I'll get this edited and put it up so let me know what you guys are working on today and uh, what you think about this bag <laughs> Cause I'm just I'm not sure how I feel about the handles cinching up too with the um, drawstring. I don't know. It's still, it would look better if it had yarn and stuff in it like it did a minute ago. <laughs> but, uh, I like it. And it's got the big box bottom. So, I don't know. Just let me know. And I'll, don't be mean though. Be nice. <laughs> if you're going to criticize it, be at least constructive in your criticism. But I really like this print. It's strawberries. I love strawberries. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.